Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I curl my short hair. I just got a new haircut. As you can see, it's all gone. What I was showing you is on my freshly blow dried from yesterday's hair, I used the Matrix Heat Buffer. It's just a wet heat protectant spray. and ran it all through my ends. This is the Bioionic Style Winder. And if you guys are looking for a curling iron to do beach waves on or with, um, that is a fabulous curling iron. You just twist it around with your fingers. You'll get to see that a little bit more. But I'm going away from my face and I just took like, actually this is probably like half of my head that I sectioned out to start with and just make my way around. I'm probably taking one inch sections in the back. My hair is really short underneath. So I just made sure there was some sort of a bend and I'm just working my way around. I'm gonna use a lot of texture throughout this so it's gonna be okay if not every single piece is perfect, especially because my blowout from the day before curled all of my ends under, so they're kind of hiding in the back. And then I'm gonna take about an inch up higher, that kind of a section, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Away from my face and in the back, I'll just make a decision which way the hair will curl better. And I know a lot of people ask if there's like a specific time length that I keep the iron on my hair. This is a sped up video as you can tell. If I didn't do it that way, it would just be a lot of really repetitive curling and that could get kind of boring. But no, I don't really. Um, typically I would just feel the heat. I do probably have this iron on like 350 degrees. I could have probably went a little bit lower just because I had freshly colored hair from the day before. Um, I just didn't want to fry the color off basically. This iron does go up to 450 degrees, so if you're looking for something that gets really hot, I just typically don't do that on my hair because it will create such bad damage. And as you can see, I'm just feeling, that was a really big section, so that's how I pretty much gauge that. And this is just like a regular cutting comb for any of you hairstylists out there. Um, if you're not a hairstylist, it's okay. You can get one of these at the drugstore. I was just showing you that I use the fine tooth side to tease and I'm just doing small circles. I know like it looks like I'm going up and down but it's really small circles and I'll look kind of funny for a second and then comb it out with the bigger side. Um, if you have a teasing comb and you don't know how to tease properly I guess, you could use something like that. It would probably work out better for you. Because my hair is shorter in here, I did choose to tease my hair before because the curls won't be as long and heavy as they would be before, so I don't want to rip them out while I'm teasing. And up towards the front of my head on the top especially, I do a few more sections than I would, and you'll notice in a second I'll like miss a piece and go back. But I like this um, holding the curling iron so vertically because it creates a really textured, like messy, loose look. And like I said, this iron makes beach waves pretty naturally. You don't really have to work at it. Um, in order to twist it, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm literally using my thumb and my pointer finger on the base of the curling iron just to twist, twist, twist. I think in this curl right here, you'll be able to see. That's how I twist it out too, yeah. And just away from my face again. I don't like when things go towards my face because I do have such a round face. If you had more of an oval face and you didn't want your um, face to look longer, you could go towards your face, but obviously the way my hair is cut and where it's like the length of it, that would make my face look bigger and I don't want to do that. So just continuing to make my way around and when I'm finished with this, what I'll do is I would let this cool. I didn't for this video, but it's okay. My hair holds curl pretty well, but I just shake it out and then I'll use the Kenra Dry Texturizing Spray and spray it all over. If you have longer hair, I would focus this more at the roots, but I don't, and my hair was freshly colored, so it was really silky soft, so I just wanted to add some grip to it. And now I'm just using the Pureology Hard Hold Supreme Control hairspray, and that's it. I hope you guys ha liked this, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.